I really don't think patience is like that valuable or that much of a virtue, despite what everyone says. Like I'm sure there's a place for patience. I just haven't found it yet. <laughs> what I find is more important than patience for me is knowing that I can have it and I can have it now and I am moving toward it and I am making my way toward it. And even when it seems slow, I don't feel like I'm waiting. I feel like I'm watching for progress. I feel like I'm looking for progress. <laughs> having a corporate career, building a personal brand. I don't have a strong desire to leave my job, but I want to be more me. Oh, oh, this is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so me and one of my girlfriends in corporate America have talked about this a lot over the years. So your brand, your personal brand is just how you're known for and how you're thought of. And it also creates what people expect of you, how they treat you, how they perceive you, and also what you can get away with. So I remember when I was early in my business branding myself, and kind of branding myself online. My friend Allison was talking to me about it. She's like, so the brand, the thing that's emerging is like this life coach and the spiritual teacher and this person with a background in therapy and this person that is very practical about applying like God and spirituality to real life situations. And I was like, yeah, that all feels really good because that's like really me. And she's like, this is so interesting because I've been thinking about personal branding and how I want to brand myself. And she's like, there's, the, there's this guy at my work and he gets away with everything. Oh, I wish I could remember what the word was. It was something like he would do these, like he would be late, he'd be this, he'd be that, he'd be a little unorthodox and everyone would go, well, you know, he's the innovator. I don't know if innovator was the word, but you get the idea. So he was like getting away with being the way, his natural way he was, cause he was the innovator. So everyone accepted it, you know what I mean? So I think there's something really to that in everything. When like, and this is really what it is more than anything, when you own who you are and you like who you are and you feel good about who you are and how you are and you're just out in the world doing it, there's a lot more of like, oh, well, you know, that's how she is. And like, and it works for her as opposed to like, oh, well, you know, that's how she is, which create is created when we have a lot of guilt and shame around who we are. Does this make sense? So you can be known however you want to be known in your corporate job. You can be thought of however you want to be thought of in your corporate job. You can create whatever dynamics you want to create in your corporate job. But it's going to come from deciding who you are, how you want to be seen. So this would be your homework. Who am I? Journal that out. How do I want to be known? Journal that out. How do I want to be thought of? Journal that. How do I want to be treated? When people talk about me, what do they say? When they think of me, what do they think? What is the overall energy they feel and experience they have when interacting with me? I would get clear on all of that because that will help you identify like the vibe of it and the vibe of it will inform you of how you be, how you speak, how you present yourself, etc. Does that make sense? I love that question. Um, I'm really impatient too. I really don't think patience is like that valuable or that much of a virtue, despite what everyone says. Like, I'm sure there's a place for patience. I just haven't found it yet. <laughs> what I find is more important than patience for me is knowing that I can have it and I can have it now and I am moving toward it and I am making my way toward it. And even when it seems slow, I don't feel like I'm waiting. I feel like I'm watching for progress. I feel like I'm looking for progress. I think I'm I'm noticing how it's all adding up for me and how it's getting better. And even if it, how, how the whole trajectory is better. So even if things aren't better, right? Like say, I don't know, I'm having a slow week and last week was like a big week. So this week seems slow, but as, but overall as this year bigger than last year, like I'm looking for the upward motion overall. I used this example before, so you may have heard it, but I had a trauma therapist say to me, growth isn't like this. It's like this. Like it cycles upward, but there's ups and downs in the cycling of going upward. So I guess for me, I don't really value patience. I value more, yes, some things take a period of time on the human plane, on the physical realm. It seems like it's taking time, but in all actuality, I can have it because I can decide to have it. And if, and the world rearranging for me to have what I want, that rearranging may feel like it's taking time, but time isn't actually required. So I don't really value patient. I, patience, I'm more just, I'm always looking for the, the results and the evidence of what I meant to have coming through. Does that make sense? And as I look for the evidence and I see the evidence and I get decided for the evidence and I believe that it's happening and coming through, I put more focus and faith and attention on that and create more of that. 
Okay, I love you.